Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's the How To Mac, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to reverse a song in GarageBand. Uh, there's a lot of different ways out there on how to reverse songs using iTunes. Uh, there's an Apple Script code that you can use. I've played around with it, and I've noticed that kind of every single time you use that method, every time you update your iTunes, there's some sort of parsing problem. So this is a simple, easy way to do it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, let me show you. Here's a, uh, a song that I made because I can't use copyrighted music. And I'm going to show you an example of the reverse. So, uh, you know, a lot of people may ask, like, you know, why do I want to be able to reverse a song? Uh, there's a lot of songs that are backmasked where you can search online, you can find these songs, and when you reverse them, you can kind of hear some weird vocals and things like that. But anyways, let me show you how to do this. So the first thing that you want to do is actually open up iMovie. When you get to iMovie, you're going to want to go and make sure that you have some sort of picture. I have a black image, picture of just a black JPG image, and you're going to go over here and click on the little music icon and this will allow you to take any songs from your um, iTunes so I'm going to take this in here and one thing that you're going to want to note is the length of your song this song is 3 minutes and 17 seconds long so I'm going to double click this image and go 3 minutes 17 seconds and this will capture the whole length of the song now what you're going to want to do is click Share, Export Movie. You can send it out at you know a medium or large, uh, depending on how you want it. You know you're probably not going to need to make a huge large HD movie, so uh, a mobile or medium movie will work. And I'm not going to export it right now because that's going to take too long. I've actually already done that. Um, so once you have it exported, you can delete all of this and go to File, Import, Import your movie. And this is what I exported my song as, is Reverse Song GarageBand. So once you import that, you just click on Import. It's going to show up right here. And here's the exact song that I just made into a movie. So if you double-click this video file, Right here where it says video effect, there'll be a button for you guys that says convert this video. Uh, this will allow you to reverse the video, which in a, uh, which will essentially just reverse the audio portion. So once it's converted, you're going to want to click on video effects, or sorry, you're going to want to click on direction, reverse. It's going to process. So now that you can see that the song has been successfully reversed in iMovie, now how do we get it over to GarageBand? This is the part that you're going to want to know. You want to click on Share, and then you're going to click on Media Browser. And I just exported mine as a um, medium file, and you click, click Publish. So it's going to take your song, depending on its length, uh, probably around four to five minutes to uh, become in the Media Browser format so it can talk to both. Uh, iMovie and GarageBand so I'll come back once the this is done 